Hey there, it's Stephanie Langston with YallWire.com in Nashville, Tennessee at CRS 41, joined by the lovely sisters of Coldwater Jane. How's Hi. it going? Hi. Good. We're good. How are you? Doing awesome. Day two's wrapping up here yeah. at CRS. Has it been exhausting for you guys? It's been really fun. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's getting toward the end of the day now, so we're kind of getting tired, tired but, but we're happy to be here. Do you have to come yeah. back and do it all again tomorrow? Yes. Yes. <laughs> right and early. Yeah. And this is your first time at CRS. How's mm -hmm. it gone so far? You know, when I looked at the schedule, I kind of got a little bit of a panic Overwhelmed. attack. <laughs> yeah. But then when you get here, every, it's so, like, everybody's so nice and the interviews are fun. And you're talking about your music, so it's not, you yeah. know, like you're talking about something you don't know anything about. Right. You're talking about something you're excited about. When you see it so. on paper, it can be overwhelming. Overwhelming. But yeah. then when you're in it, it's like, this is so much fun. Yeah, and everybody's been lovely. We, yeah. we haven't met one bad apple. Good. Yeah. Have you guys gotten to go enjoy any of the music while you've been here? We played yesterday the Ryman with Universal, all the Universal Saw artists. Saw that. Awesome. It was awesome. I mean, just to get to see every artist, you know, that they had their... It was awesome, and just to be on the stage. And we've with never, them was, we've never. I mean, we've never played at the Ryman, so it was just an that's honor. Huge. To, it was an honor to play there. You're trying to not to, to cry. You're choking back tears when you're walking out on the stage to do your sound check. Yeah, because um, you know you you always dream of playing there. It's like it's like the freaking mothership. It is. <laughs> it is. And just seeing like you know we've been to lots of shows there you know, seeing other people play, but to be on the stage and to see it that direction, it's like mm -hmm. everybody should get to see it that way. It's be it's beautiful, the stained glass and the right. light was coming the in pews. and the pews. Yeah. And, and everybody was just excited to hear music, which was a, which was a good day. Was yeah. there extra pressure because of the radio crowd that you were performing just for? Hair. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> yeah. was, yeah. There was a lot, well, it was fun though. We've met a lot of the radio people so far and everybody loves music. You know, they get into it because they love music and you just kind of have to, you just have to keep that in mind when you're going out there. You know that you, you know, we started doing this when we were kids because we love music, and um, you just want to do do your very best. My main concern through the whole thing was just trying not to see my dad because he came, and I knew he was sitting somewhere out there. And I was just, I told our manager, I'm like, put my dad somewhere where we can't see him because <laughs> we would cry, like we would. Oh, just I'd start be, I'd tear up because the first time we went there was with him when we were 12 and 14, and yeah, um, you know, it's it's your dreams become your family's dreams after a while. They're not just yours. So that's, that's wonderful. What a great start for y'all's first visit to CRS. Oh, I, yeah. I don't know how we'll ever top that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It was it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Now you all are from the small town in Mississippi, Loosedale. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. Loosedale. You pronounced it right. So it's really hard Most to people get it don't right. Know how to say it. I was scared to say it. I'll yeah. be honest. I was like, <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's like maybe 2,500 people that live there, but it's, I mean, there's nothing entertaining around. Like there's no mall. There's no it's a movie small theater. Town. But it's good people, you know, just really good people. It's All like of our relatives live there. My aunt will bring you potato soup when you're sick kind of oh, place. Oh, that's great. You know, I mean, they take care of each other. The good thing is they take care of each other. The bad thing is if you do something you're not supposed to, everybody knows it. Right, exactly. <laughs> now, you all traveled with your family uh, mm -hmm. as a, with a gospel band. Is that correct for a while? And yes. Um, as young teenagers, we traveled for two years um, all the time. My parents gave up their jobs so that we could travel and play churches and make music. And um, I think that has a lot to do with how how comfortable we are doing it now you know we had a lot of ex a lot of experience singing together and um, we moved here um, at like 17 and we moved here 11 years ago um, 15 and 17. yeah to pursue a career and we thought it would happen very quickly because we you know as everybody does as everybody does when they move here and um, the l last 11 years have been amazing and not how we planned them but I wouldn't take any of them back. Right, y'all came here and then there was a separation and now back together and yeah. doing this thing right? To yeah, we, um, I decided I wanted to write songs and um, my sister decided that she wanted to, my sister, like you're not sitting I know. here. My, <laughs> my sister, sister, yeah. She decided that she wanted to do a solo, um, pursue a solo career and which was, you know, it was an awesome thing for us. I really uh, feel like I changed a lot as a songwriter, grew a lot. I learned so much from the writers that I got to write you with. You learned how to stand on your own two feet. Yeah, it was good for both of us. But then when we, um, a couple years ago, well maybe a year and a half ago, we decided to get back together to make music, not, not really to do anything, but just because we loved it and we missed playing music together. And we had worked so hard as at her artisting and at, at my writing, and you want something so bad and everything is so strategic, and this is what I'm gonna do to get there. Calculated. Yeah, but then we get together to do this for fun, and you know, we, may, we write five songs with our producers 
who ended up being our producers, Wayne Kirkpatrick and Kevin Kadish. We recorded them, and Universal signed us like a couple weeks after they heard them. And that's great. It was like, man, <laughs> all those after years. like ten years of everything Finally. being so hard. But everybody's like, oh, it happened so quickly, and you're like, well. Actually, no, really. it didn't. It actually <laughs> happened at a snail's pace, but the last year has happened so quickly, yeah. and that it's just it's been a whirlwind from like getting signed and then making our record, finishing our record, and um, we turned it in in November, and they gave us a single date immediately in January, and it's just been it's been incredible. I'm I couldn't do this without Leah, and I think God knew that because I, you know we need I've needed her. I, I can't imagine doing this by myself. <laughs> this is emotional. <laughs> so you guys have a big year ahead of you. It sounds yeah, like it's kind of going I'm like really dominoes. Excited. Yeah, we. You know, you never know what every day is going to hold. Everything's different. You know, every every day seems to be a first. Your video comes out. Yeah. It comes out on iTunes. It's all new. Released. Everything's new. But you know what? We've been we've been in Nashville long enough to know how lucky we are to have a shot. That there are a lot of talented people here, and. Um, we're just grateful to have the chance for people to hear our music and then decide for themselves if they like yeah. it. Yeah, and nobody, no, nobody's entitled to it. When you move here, you have a sense of entitlement. Like, you know, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, this should work. But, man, everybody here is a singer and a sure. songwriter, and you just feel after living and here And all their while, mamas think that they're going to be exactly, stars, you know. Exactly. I know ours did. <laughs> and the longer you live here, you realize it's such a blessing, such a gift to be able to do this for a living. Mm -hmm. Every year you get to do it for a living. One more year is just awesome. And Patty Griffin, Emmylou Harris are oh, some of the yes. people you all look we forward love to them. in music. Love. Some of we the people we went and saw play at the Ryman, Patty they're, Griffin. And they're amazing. Like, we, I wore out Flaming Red, and we love Red Dirt Girl. Living with Ghosts. Living with Ghosts. I mean, we just love music. We just love good music, and um, oh, we love them. There's nothing that can really take the place of laying in the middle of your floor and turning your stereo oh, up yeah. and just listening to a record. It yeah. is my favorite thing to do. Um, I don't get to do it as much as I used to. We're a little bit busy. Right. But um, finding a new record you love and just being able to listen to the and whole thing through. just get lost in it. And like layer by layer you listen to it. The first time you just listen to the sound of it. The second time you listen yeah. to the lyrics. It's it's music. It's an experience, you know? Yeah. Right. Well, thanks so much for visiting with us. Have a fun time at your first CRS. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We're Coldwater Jane. And you're watching YallWire.com. Ain't no big mystery. Ain't rocket science.